It's October 2018 and we've got some new drone rules. So the FAA reauthorization bill just passed. So what's really changed and how does that affect most drone pilots? First of all, the reauthorization bill is huge and it covers a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff that won't really affect most UAS pilots. But we are going to talk about some things today that will affect those flying as a hobbyist. Previously, the FAA couldn't really regulate model aircraft and hobbyist drones, but that has changed. Let's look at what the FAA rules are now. Aircraft must be flown strictly for recreation. They must also be flown within a community-based organization's set of guidelines. They must be flown within visual line of sight, and if you're using FPV goggles, then you need to have a visual observer watching your aircraft. You must stay out of the way of all manned aircraft. They must be flown in Class G airspace under 400 feet AGL or have authorization. You must be registered and marked. You can do that by clicking the link in the description below this video. The operator must pass an aeronautical knowledge test. Of course, that's not yet quite developed at this time. The FAA's website also states that the Reauthorization Act cannot be fully implemented immediately. Please continue to follow all current policies and guidance with respect to recreational use of drones. Updated direction and guidance will be provided as the FAA implements this new legislation. So what has really changed? First off, you no longer have to notify an airport if you're within five miles of them, but you are required to fly in Class G airspace. I highly recommend downloading the AirMap app. Uh, there'll be a link to it in the description. It's what I use. Um, I think it's better than the FAA's Before You Fly app. That's just my opinion. Both of those uh, should be able to kind of tell you which airspace that you're flying in. Also in the past, it was suggested that you fly below 400 feet and that you remain within visual line of sight. Now that is a rule. And it also looks like hobbyists will now be required to pass some form of an aeronautical knowledge test. I'm sure it won't be quite as detailed as the test that you take for part 107. Uh, I'm sure it'll cover the basics of drone flight. Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of anxious to see what this test is going to be like. Is this going to be good? Is it going to be bad? Is it really that bad to have people more educated? And those are the main differences that will affect hobbyist flights. What do you think about these changes? Are they good? Are they bad? Uh, drop a comment down below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on these. And if you want to learn more about this reauthorization bill, check out 51 Drones. Russ kind of dives a little bit deeper into this and gives you some more information on it. I'll leave a link to his channel down in the description below this video. If you found this video helpful at all, please consider hitting that subscribe button. When you do, turn on the notification bell. That way you won't miss anything. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And until next time, God bless.